are sport coats better than suits? Maybe they are. But maybe wearing the full suit is always going to be the better overall option for you. In today's video, we're going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of both wearing a full suit and tie like what I've got on right now and opting to just wear that sport coat instead. Welcome to Essential Style. Let's get right into it. So there is nothing like wearing a properly fitted suit. A suit is the best you can get when dressing formally and looking your absolute best. And it has been said by somebody somewhere that a well tailored suit is to women what lingerie is to men. And as we know with all things on the internet and social media, if you read it or saw it on the internet, it must be true. Actually, I did some research. That quote is by somebody named H.M. Cole. So this has been floating around the internet for quite a while and it does make a lot of sense just because that suit, especially that suit jacket, is supposed to make you look masculine. It's supposed to make your shoulders appear broad while slimming down your waist as long as it is fitted properly. And of course, as long as the pants fit you properly as well, they're not too big, not too baggy, they're also not too tight, it's going to make you appear tall lean and slim, nothing out of proportion. So wearing a well-fitted suit, the absolute best you can get, nothing, truly nothing can replace wearing a suit. So if it's truly the best you can get, like I'm saying in this video, why would it make sense to wear anything else than a suit when you actually wanna wear a nice jacket? Well, there are a couple of downsides to wearing that suit. First downside is going to be price. A well-made suit is going to run you at least four to $500, plus you should really, budget for about a hundred bucks in alterations just so that they can take the jacket in. Maybe they need to shorten the sleeves. And of course, if they need to take in the waist or shorten your pants. I think usually they always have to shorten your pants. They just leave, they leave the threads undone on the pants just because they want that height to be proper. It's not like buying a pair of jeans or chinos where it's a size 36 on the waist and 32 on the bottom. It just comes in waist sizes and that's it. So of course, for a lot of us, price is a big concern with anything that we are buying. And while you can get cheaper suits that cost about $100 to $200 or somewhere around there, my experience and of course my opinion is that those suits, they're not going to breathe as well. They're not going to drape as nice drape as the way the suit actually fits you and looks when you're just standing there, the way the fabric just drapes off your body. And it's just not going to be a great experience. It's gonna to feel too stuffy. It's gonna to feel too stiff. It's just not gonna be worth it. So it's always worth it to save up a little bit more money and get one really good quality suit for four or $500 than to get a couple of cheap $100 suits. And tying into price is also cost per wear. How often are you really gonna be wearing this full suit and tie with dress shoes and the whole nine yards, white dress shirt and everything like I'm wearing right now? For me, I've probably worn this suit about less than once a year. I've had it for about seven or eight years and I've probably worn it less than eight times. I wear it more for making these videos, honestly. I put it on for a few hours, but then I take it off just because it's, I don't want to wear the suit all the time. It's going to wear it out. So cost per wear is definitely a concern. If you know you're going to be wearing the suit a lot for work, then yeah, absolutely, it's worth it. But personally for me, I hate spending a lot of money on something that I only get to use once in a blue moon. I'd rather spend a lot of money on something that I use all the time. That way I'm getting a much better cost per wear or cost per use, and I'm getting a better experience using or wearing or experiencing that thing that I purchased. And now with price, it's also going to be more expensive to launder a suit. You can't just take this suit and throw it in the laundry and tell your laundromat to just, hey, just cold water wash it and hang dry like I do with all of my shirts and pants that I have hanging up over here. You can't do that. Suits are dry clean only, which means it's going to be a lot more money if you have to get your suit dry clean once a month. After a year, I, I, I don't remember the last time I got something dry clean, honestly. I got the suit dry clean a couple of years ago and I. Like I said, I barely wear it anyway, but it is going to be a lot more money to actually maintain and clean this suit. Another thing about dry cleaning is it's actually very hard on fabric. So not only is it more expensive, it wears out the fabric a lot faster, which brings us to our next downside is going to be durability. A suit that's made out of a classic wool like this is not going to be as durable as if you opted for something like wearing a sport coat, sport jacket, which is essentially a casualized suit jacket, and either a pair of jeans or cotton chinos or even cotton dress pants. A lot of times changing up the pants to something more casual are going to be a lot more rugged and durable and cheaper, so it is going to be just overall a better option for a lot of us. A suit that's made out of a classic wool like this Napoli from Suit Supply 
supply. While it is going to feel really good, it's going to breathe really well, it's going to drape and look really well, it's also going to wear out a lot faster, especially the pants. Not so much the jacket unless you nick it on something as you're walking by a door or unless you nick it on your backpack. You really shouldn't try to avoid wearing backpacks with suits as much as you can. I still do it sometimes, but you really want to make sure that you save the fabric and you don't introduce a lot of wear and tear to the fabric. Now, suit jackets always last a lot longer just because they don't incur as much wear and tear as the pants. The pants are always the first to go because we're constantly taking a seat. We're constantly crossing our legs. We're constantly, if we're crouching down, I don't know why you would do this with a suit, but maybe you have to lean down to tie your shoes, you have to bend down. All of that is going to be wear and tear on the pants, and it's only a matter of time before the nice, shiny, very high-end suit fabric or wool of the suit is going to just completely give. So those are the main downsides and disadvantages of suits. It has to do with it's more expensive to own, more expensive to clean and maintain, and also doesn't last as long because it's not as durable. Which brings us to our next option we're going to talk about, sport jackets. Now all a sport jacket basically is is a more casualized suit jacket. Let's take a look at the suit jacket that I was just wearing. You could see Look at how nice and sheen the fabric is. It's nice and smooth. If you notice, the shoulders were very big, very structured. Now take a look at this sport jacket that I'm actually wearing. You could see I do have some, this one in particular has a nice bit of fabric. This is more of like a wool, almost like a tweed type fabric. It's a bit brighter of a color as well. If we pay attention to my shoulders, see how it is a more softer shoulder. And overall, it is just not as structured as that suit jacket. I also removed the tie just to show you that sport jackets are a lot easier to dress down. So while I have on right now, I've still got on the dress shirt and the dress pants from the suits and through the sport jacket on, this outfit actually still looks pretty good. Just because as you can see, there is still a bit of nice contrast between the actual sport coat itself or sport jacket, whichever you want to call it, and the dress pants from the suit. Now sport jackets are going to be a little bit less expensive than a full suit, but not by much. We're talking only 100 bucks. My full suit was 500. This sport jacket was actually 400. I opted not to get anything tapered in just because it is a more casual item. So it does save you a bit more money, but not by much. It's not like you're gonna spend $100 on a sport jacket and five or 600 on a suit. Now the main advantage of a sport jacket over a suit is it is a lot easier to dress it down in more casual situations. So where a suit is pretty much impossible to dress it down, you can do things like take the tie off, you can wear some more fun footwear, maybe even some nice stylish sneakers, maybe choose a brighter colored suit. I have another suit that's a much brighter blue. It's still going to be a suit at the end of the day and you're not going to be able to get the level of casualness or go all the way down to something as casual as just a pair of khaki colored chinos with a light blue Oxford shirt. Now something that's really nice about a sport coat is you could actually just start to build your casual outfit without it and then just throw that sport coat on afterwards and a lot of times you're going to be able to tell if it's going to work or not. So for example, this outfit that I'm wearing right now, it's pretty much nothing more than a light blue Oxford shirt tucked in, top two buttons unbuttoned, sleeves rolled up like a boss, nice fitted Banana Republic khaki colored chinos, and I've also got some Allen Edmonds chili colored wingtip dress shoes with the belt to match. This is pretty much a very good option if you're dressing for business casual going into the office. You don't have to wear the classic light blue and khakis. You can go with gray, you can go with blue, dark blue on the bottom. You can go with white, you can go with gingham, but you can take an outfit like this and throw on that sport coat and what you're gonna find is you're going to be able to really change that formality of the outfit by quite a lot. So throwing the sport coat on top of this business casual outfit actually does dress it up quite a bit, almost to the point where it can now go nose and nose with a casual suit. But if you find that it's a bit uncomfortable, maybe if you feel a bit too overdressed for the environment you're in, which side note, it's always better to be overdressed than underdressed. You can simply just lose the sport jacket, roll your sleeves up. You could even go so far as untuck your shirt 
Now you've got a much more casual outfit. It's not going to look like you're dressed way too formal for that casual situation. So sport coats are going to be a lot more versatile and a lot easier to wear than a full on suit. I mean, really all you have to make sure is that your shirt has a collar on it, your shirt is nice and fitted, and your pants, whether they're jeans or pants like this, the khakis, your pants fit you properly and you're wearing some nice non-bulky shoes. You could even wear some sleek leather dress sneakers if you want to. The possibilities are endless here and you're also going to get a lot more durability out of the more casual fabrics of the sport jackets themselves because a lot of times they're not going to be as dressy or like they're not going to be made out of this like nice sheen smooth wool dressy fabric it's not going to be as structured so they are going to last a little bit longer but you compare them with more hardy shoes like maybe some dress boots and jeans as well and now you're going to get a lot more durability than wearing that full suit and wearing a sport coat with jeans is actually something that's really awesome and really fun to do. Check out the video linked right up there. I did a video a while ago talking about what, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. You could also go so bold as wear maybe a casual polo shirt, a nice pair of dark wash jeans, and maybe even some Vans old school sneakers if you so choose. And if you do it right, it's going to look absolutely amazing. I promise you. All right, so suits or sport coats, which is better? Well, here is my take on it, obviously, because this, this is the video that I'm making. If you don't have a suit or a sport coat, you should have one really good, well-fitted, well-tailored suit. This is gonna be the suit that you wear to job interviews, that you wear to weddings, or that you wear to any type of very formal functions, which really weddings and job interviews are very dressy family reunions that you know, everyone for some reason needs to dress all the way up. To start with that one well-fitted, well-tailored suit, definitely spend a little bit more money than just $100 to $200 because those suits just aren't going to be as nice to wear. For colors, I would say go with something like either a classic navy blue, like the one I was wearing at the beginning of this video. This is the jacket right here. Or you can go with something like a charcoal or a medium gray. Rule of thumb is gray is going to be a little bit more versatile. You're going to be able to match more shirt colors, more tie colors, more shoes. It's going to match a bit more skin tones. You could do more with it. But my personal pick will always be navy blue. You are a bit more limited. You can't wear certain colored shirts. You have to be careful what kind of, what kind of ties you wear with them. I find that the navy blue or blue in general works really well with my complexion and blue just looks good on just about everyone. But the gray color is going to be a lot more versatile and you can't go wrong with either one. All right, so you've got that one classic suit in either navy or gray, your choice. Now what should you do? Should you invest in a more casual, brighter colored suit or should you invest in a sport coat? Well, my recommendation would be to invest in a sport coat because as we talked about in this video, you can add the sport coat to a lot more of your casual outfits that you're most likely already wearing anyway and you can get a lot more use out of the sport coat than the full suit. But can you go the other way? How much can you actually dress this thing up? Well, you could actually dress it up quite a bit. Check it out. Dark blue chino pants. I put the white dress shirt on. Same tie I was wearing at the beginning of this video, light blue tie, same pocket square. And where normally I would just wear the outfit with the suit pants and the suit jacket, I opted for a pair of navy cotton chinos. These have a bit of stretch in them. They're actually gonna be quite a lot cheaper than a pair of wool fabric suit pants or dress pants. And they do have, like I said, they do have a bit of stretch in them. So these things are gonna be very comfortable to move in, to walk in all day. Not to mention these can be actually laundered regularly. You don't have to dry clean these. So it's gonna be a lot more durable than the wool suit pants. So you tell me, is this dressy enough for a sport coat? My opinion, it is. While you can never really fully replace a full suit that's a matching jacket and matching pants, this is a very close second option and you can pretty much get where if the suit is 100% on the formality scale, this is right behind it. This is like a 95% on the formality scale. And an outfit like this is going to be a lot easier to wear in more situations because although it is pretty a pretty formal way of wearing it, it's still more casual than wearing a full suit. I typically wouldn't wear a tie all the time. I would wear maybe a white dress shirt with the collar open at most. And then depending on the type of shoes, I maybe would wear my walnut shoes with walnut belt just to add a bit more color in this. But as you could see, this can pretty much replace a casual suit. So instead of having a full on classic dressy suit, formal suit and a casual suit, maybe get a full on classic suit 
and a nice sport jacket that you can wear almost in all situations. So that's what I'd recommend just because I find that we're not wearing suits like we used to. If anything, we're wearing it just to that one wedding we're going to every couple of years anyway. And my sport coats, I currently have three of them, they get a lot more wear than my suits. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped. And most importantly, I hope you had fun. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.